Hey, what's up guys? Good morning. Today, Apple released an unexpected software update, iOS 11.3.1. This is before iOS 11.4, and it's a crucial bug fix. So you or maybe someone you know that has replaced their screen with a third party screen not created by Apple may have been experiencing issues in iOS 11.3.1. And those issues include your iPhone either not turning on or the screen being extremely laggy and very unresponsive. And there was actually a very large outcry over this online. I mean, Imagine, there were a lot of people that couldn't afford Apple's OEM screen, so they'd install a third party one. And after updating to iOS 11.3, suddenly their phones aren't working or aren't working the same as they did before on iOS 11.2.6. And Apple definitely wanted to fix this as soon as possible. So with a software update today, iOS 11.3.1, they mitigated the issues. While a third party screen isn't gonna be the same as an OEM one, with iOS 11.3.1, they basically fixed a lot of the responsiveness issues a lot of people were having. And in the actual release notes, it's kind of funny, they left like a scathing look at third party displays. Basically, they say they don't want you to use them at all, because they're not going to be the same. But if you were to use one on iOS 11.3.1, it will be better. Taking a look at those actual release notes, iOS 11.3.1 improves the security of your iPhone or iPad and addresses an issue where touch input was unresponsive on some iPhone 8 devices because they were serviced with non genuine replacement displays. But I heard this issue was more prevalent that even users on on older models were having this very same issue. And also below that, Apple did leave a sub note for people using those third party displays, basically saying, do not use them. We don't want you to use them at all. Non genuine replacement displays may have compromised visual quality and may fail to work correctly. So Apple definitely wants you to know you should not use third party displays. And this is the second time this is happening to Apple already where they would release a software update and third party displays would just stop working correctly. And uh, it's very good that they're fixing it both times. Now iOS 11.3 3.1 also includes bug fixes and security patches. So there may be more under the cover. I wasn't able to find anything just searching around it, but there may actually be some issues that have been ironed out. And I've seen honestly a lot in iOS 11.3, even though that that one did fix a lot of the bugs 11.2.6 had there's been lots of crashing and freezing and just the weirdest bugs, I swear, like icons appearing out of place floating in my status bar. So Apple definitely has a lot of work cut out for it fixing these bugs. Also security patches. So there was actually some movement towards a jailbreak on iOS 11.3. Obviously, we didn't get very close, but there were some exploits and Apple probably did patch those. So I'd stay away from iOS 11.3.1 if you were hoping for any kind of jailbreak on that one. In any case, the performance is good. I haven't noticed a difference uh, between 11.3 three and this one. But of course, you will notice a responsiveness difference with a third party display. Next up, just want to run a Geekbench real quick, see if there's any difference in the numbers. And I was going from iOS 11.2 all the way here. So probably we'll be seeing one. And just wanted to mention that Apple probably released this software update with gritted teeth because they've been fighting against your right to repair your iPhone for the longest time. They hate that you're using an aftermarket display on your iPhone. And especially with the software updates, they might have not wanted to release it, but they kind of have to. There's a ton of users that aren't able to use their phones. Anyways, this is the score after updating. So about the score we would expect on iOS 11.3 before updating on iOS 11.2.2, I had this score here. So a lower multi-core score, but pretty much in line. So after updating, I doubt you'll notice anything different if you weren't experiencing any issues, but if you wanted some security and bug fixes, definitely do updates and get the latest on iOS 11.3.1. In any case, I'm super excited for iOS 12. I'm tired of these updates having nothing in them. iOS 12 will be pretty big, I think, in terms of features, maybe a little slight redesign. So stay tuned for that in about a month and a half. And otherwise, I'll keep you updated on everything else. Peace.